Is your child struggling from toe walking? I'm D.L. Walker, a clinical foot and ankle specialist, and I have a theory on why toe walking happens. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can resolve toe walking with little time and effort so your child won't have to endure injections, casting, bracing, therapy, or surgery. The first step is to understand that toe walking is a compensation. And a compensation when related to the human body is something the body does in order to achieve balance or function. An example of this is someone who's born without hands using their feet to eat, dress, etc. What I have found in my 20 years of clinical experience is that the human body will change its posture and compensate in order to get the big toe on the floor. Toe walkers achieve this by simply lifting their heels to walk, forcing the big toe into the ground. In order to resolve toe walking, we need to eliminate the need for this compensation by facilitating the body to get the big toe on the floor in a different way. Unfortunately, none of the current treatments for toe walking address the big toe. They all focus on lengthening the calf muscles and getting the heel on the floor. If you don't address the reason why the body is compensating, it's very, very difficult to change it. This is why current toe walking treatments are not highly effective and why I've developed a non-invasive program that focuses on the big toe. It's called the toe walking solution. And what it does, it addresses the reason why children toe walk. It facilitates, not forces their body to walk using a normal gait pattern. It releases any of the muscles and other connective tissues that may have shortened as a result of toe walking, re-educates the appropriate muscles to work properly and restore a normal gait pattern. What kind of results are parents getting? This is Carrie, whose daughter used the program. My daughter's been toe walking noticeably by doctors since she was four, so it's been about two years. She's six now. Uh, the doctors recommend her bracing all day long. After a year about doing that, she continued to tippy toe, um, and it was recommended after that year that we continue doing braces for another year to see if there is any improvement. However, there is likely still surgery at the end of the second year. There has been very little improvement. It caused a lot of issues for her at school. Her sensory issues escalated from there and was diagnosed with sensory processing disorder at the time. This didn't really settle well with me. However, I didn't feel like I had any other choices. This particular method has shown the most immediate results that I've seen, and we have seen more natural results than we did in a year with bracing. We have seen huge results in such a short amount of time, which has been really exciting. Uh, I'm very positive and very excited about the results. Stop agonizing over invasive treatments that may be painful to your child and prove to have a low success rate. Quit worrying and stressing about your child's toe walking. Just click here to learn more about the program. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the other side.